This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install 48 gig of memory into an HP Z400 workstation. So in the description of this video, we are going to post a link to our HP Z400 gaming computer blog page. And you're going to want to check this page out because it will show you the memory that we install in this video, as well as a whole bunch of other awesome hardware upgrade ideas uh, to optimize your Z400 workstation for gaming or other high-end computing. So check this page out, uh, and it should be a pretty good resource to you. Uh, all right, so before we get to the actual install, we're going to give you a little bit more information on the HP Z400 memory. Um, the HP manual or the spec sheet shows that the max memory is 6 times 4 gig, uh, 24 gig of memory. Um, we are going to kind of defy that and install 48 gig of RAM. Um, you must have the 6 slot Z400 system bar to install 48 gig of RAM. Um, if you have the 4 slot, you would be limited to obviously 32 gig of memory. Um, you must have a 64 bit operating system installed to utilize um, more than 4 gig of memory. Um, so if you have a 32 bit OS installed, like Windows 7 or 10, it's just going gonna to show you all the memory, uh, but it's not going to allow you to utilize all of it. Um, also, I mean, if you have a 32 bit OS installed, it's still going to show you the full amount of memory in that F10 setup, but then again, you will not be able to ut utilize all of that memory. All right, so um, we recommend uh, using uh, the ECC modules. We do know the system supports the UDIMs as well. Um, so we recommend the, um, for this particular install, using either 10600E modules or 12800E. The 10600E 8 gig modules are pretty rare. I don't know that they even make an 8 gig 8500E, but I'm sure somebody will comment below and let us know if they do. Uh, but in this video, we are going to install the 8 gig 12800E modules. Now, they are faster than this system normally says that it supports, but what they're going to do is they're going to clock down to 1333 megahertz because that's the max speed memory that our system will support based off of the processor. Um, so you might have a slower processor installed that only supports 1066 megahertz. Um, so basically, that's how it's going to determine how fast your memory clocks at uh, based off the CPU, combination of the CPU and the memory. All right, so you cannot install registered modules into the Z400 workstation. Um, so AKA 8500R, 10600R, or 12800R modules. Um, so just don't try to install those. They won't work. The system will beep at you. It will not be happy. And you know you, then you're gonna have to go out and try to buy other modules that will work. All right, so here's our Z400 workstation. This thing is going on almost 10 years old now. So the system's pretty old, but it's still very, very effective for a DDR3 based workstation here are our six matching 8 gig 12800 e modules here's a closer look they're 2r by 8 pc3 12800 e and all the manufacturer codes match on these we try to match them for uh, so we can avoid any sort of parity issues so we're going to remove our side panel and then we will remove the plastic shroud that covers the memory and the cpu now that's going to give us easier access to actually install the modules. All right, so you're going to notice that we unplugged the 24-pin power in our optical drive. Uh, you don't have to do that. We did that specifically to give you guys a better view of the install. All right, so you're going to notice that we basically opened up each slot. And we're going to line up the notch on the memory modules. And kind of fast forward through this install. So basically line up each module in the slot, put it in the center, and then click each side in until the module is secure. So pretty easy to do. And we ins we're installing all six modules, all six slots. So maybe you don't need 32 gig of RAM, maybe you need less. Um, you know, install as many modules as you need. And typically you're gonna install, um, you know, two, three, four, or six modules. All right, so we're gonna put our plastic straw back on Put our side panel back on, and then we're going to go and go ahead and boot into the F10 setup, uh, just to verify that all of our memory modules were installed properly, and that the system is recognizing the memory. So we're going to go into F10 and post, hit enter on system information, and as you can see, we're actually showing up as almost 50 gig of memory, and it's running at 1333 megahertz because that's the max speed that the processor will support. So we can see all of our 8 gig modules. So everything's working fine in the F10 setup. All right, so now we booted into Windows 10. 
we're going to go to system just verify that windows is seeing all the memory as you can see it has 48 gig of ram installed that's perfect it's exactly what we want to see and this is our task manager so as you can see we have two point we're using 2.5 gig of the 48 gig installed so it's showing up in our task manager it appears to be usable um, at this point we can just open up a whole bunch of programs or apps or whatever you want to do because the 48 gig is a lot of ram for a z400 all right so this is cpu id hardware monitor we can see the memory in there we can also see the temperature and everything appears to be working just fine um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you if it was please consider subscribing to our channel uh, we do tons of videos like this where we uh, do you know do crazy installs just to see if they'll work we also do a bunch of gaming pc builds um, and then again thank you so much for watching this video